coming to you with another wig review this wig is from a local beauty supply store that I go to and this is the stock card this is like the name of it Fu Fuchiana Fruch Fruit Fuchiana I'm definitely probably saying it wrong so oh well look it says lace front invisible lace and then this just tells you how you can um, wash it and how not to wear it wet when you sleep. I don't know who will wear a wig wet and sleep anyway. So, um, and another thing is, yes. Hi, baby kitten. So another thing is, I have this beautiful lighting that I just got that I love. It just makes my videos look much more better and clear. So I'm gonna, I already put the wig on the wig head, but I'll take it off. So this is it right here on the wig head. Very bouncy. And let me show you the inside of the wig. So it's a side part wig. So that is the lace. It's very little, not much parting space. Something simple. Um, you got two combs in the front, one comb in the back, and you have the adjustable straps. I'm gonna have to go in and sew the straps a little tighter because my head is very small. Um, I'm not gonna do that right now. Right now, I'm just plucking the actual hairline because I needed to be able to see the actual lace when you have it on. Because before this, you could not see the lace. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pluck this a little bit more. I already started plucking it a little bit and then I was like, oh wait, I gotta start recording. So I um, figure I'll talk to you guys while I pluck a little bit. I also am doing another video. It's almost gonna be like a get ready with me video because I have to go to a networking event for work. And you know, I wanted to get a wig that looks a little bit nicer than my other wigs. Not saying they're not nice, but I want to make sure I look professional because it's for work. I don't want to just show up with some long hair, different color, um, all crazy looking, and I wanted something different. So that's why I went with this one. Um, my hair, if anybody has seen my How I Style My Natural Hair, I am able to braid my hair now. It's not that long, it's like right here. The braid stop right here. So it's not that long. Um, but I am so happy I can actually braid my hair. So that is accomplished for me. That means I really took care of my hair. So now my hair is no longer too damaged. It's, my scalp is a little dry, but that's all right because I could easily fix that. As long as my hair is not like falling out like it was before from me having bleached it and everything. So I am happy. So I just wanted to come out here and just, you know, talk to you guys a little bit. Cause I feel like I don't talk as much in my videos. I do, but not as much. So hold on one second. My comb. And that's my daughter in the background. I just said forget it. I'm just gonna head and start the video. I was gonna wait till she went to sleep, but that's impossible. Cause I'm gonna be tired. So I didn't want to just prolong my video just because of that. So I'm going to continue to pluck the other side. And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just plucking the other side. I know you really can't see it, but I'm not that good to where I could just do it the opposite way. Well, maybe I could a little bit. Maybe. Yeah, you still can't see it because my arm's in a way. But I'll fast forward this part and I will see you guys in the rest of the video. See you in a little bit. I am back. I went and changed my shirt. This shirt I purchased from Easy Pickens a few months ago, like back in March. And it actually can go off your shoulder a little bit, you know, get a little, you know, sexy feeling or whatever if you're going somewhere nice. I, um, and I like this because it actually shows my tattoo because I really, barely anybody gets to see it. So I figured why not show it now when I'm on video. I went in, I flat ironed the hair a little bit. 
very little bit, not too much because this wig can only take up from 180 to 200 degrees. When I used my flat iron, it went up to like three, maybe 320 and it was okay, but I didn't do too much. I just really just ran through it real quick. Not even the back too much, um, just the front. So I wanted to come on here and talk about my opinion about the wig. I love it. It's the length that I wanted. I saw another YouTuber go on and do a video and it was this length, but it was a human hair. I don't have that much money for a human hair right now. I'm gonna wait a little bit. Um, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna see if I can find me a synthetic one that actually kind of looks the same. Sorry, I'm gonna be just the shirt. Cause I actually haven't worn this shirt out yet. I bought it, I just ripped the tag off today right before this video and I was like oh all right let me just see how it is actually it comes down let me go ahead and show you guys it's like a um I guess you let's say like a crop top and this is the back sorry that's my bra showing because I have to do that and make me fix it okay so you get the idea it can go all the way up here or it can go to your shoulder so either way you could do it either way um matter of fact while I'm standing here let me show you the back of the wig the back is pretty nice. It's got a little, got a little bounce to it. I think that's what I like about it the most. So I figured tomorrow, when I go to this event, that this is the reason why I got the wig. I'm going to a work event tomorrow, and I'm wearing some gray slacks and a black top. Wait till you guys hear the price on this outfit. I'm telling you right now, it's very inexpensive. I'm gonna come on tomorrow and do that video. This, I just wanted to show you my hair because I knew I wasn't going to have enough time to do the hair and plus do my outfit. I mean, granted, this didn't take that long to get together. It took me not that long, so I could have did it together, but I wanted to do two videos instead of one because I've been slacking a little bit with working, school, and, you know, being a mom all at once. Um, I know everybody does it, but I know I want to make sure my videos come out right. I didn't want to make them look like I was rushing through the video. No, nothing. I wanted to sit down and actually talk to you guys. Um, but I love this top. And I think it looks cute. I would wear it out with this, these pants. These pants come up a little higher than my other pants. So that's why I'm comfortable wearing it. Um, I lost weight, as you guys know, recently. And I am so happy. I went from a size 13 to a size 8. So I feel very happy. Kudos to me. Cut on my back same focus because any other time I tried to lose weight it didn't work I couldn't do it so I am so happy I finally just went down and got me a personal trainer so I want to come on here and tell you guys more a little bit more about the wig sheds a little bit I think from me cutting the lace and plucking that's why it's shedding tangle you're not gonna get that much tangle in a short wig not right away anyway so I figured probably if my hair was a little longer the wig was a little longer yes it probably would but this I love because it's like, when you come onto the camera, you can actually see what I did. Before that, you could not, I'm telling you right now, you could not see that. So I am happy. I went in, I plucked a little bit, very little bit, because I'm not a professional hairstylist. Again, I'm not. This is just my opinion. Um, and I will come back and give an update on this wig, see how it is later down the line, because I will be using this as a work wig and also when I'm going out somewhere special. So, you're gonna see this wig again, I'm telling you. So, sorry, I'm still sitting here and adjusting the top a little bit, but I wanted to thank everybody for watching and subscribing. Thanks to all my new subscribers for subscribing. Thank you for just going on a whim and just subscribing. So I will continue to give you guys more videos and I also will be doing a video of a poem I wrote a while ago. So I will be doing another video next week about that poem and just go on and let you guys hear it. It's a very, emo I would say it's emotional, but not very emotional. It's something that is dear to me. I write a little bit, but I haven't wrote in years. So this was a poem I wrote in 2008. So I will be bringing that to you guys. Please continue to like comment and subscribe please i really do appreciate all of it i really do and i will message you guys back if you guys comment in the comment section i will comment back so i wanted to come on here and just say thank you for everything because i am new to this if you guys have any advice for me please give me the advice because i will definitely 
use it. I always say any little critique you guys can tell me, I will use it. So thank you, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.